Hi guys, today I've put a few clips together from my interviews basically about the uh, English Academy system and some experiences in that system. Uh, we've got four players on today, Tate Trusty, a professional player at Blackpool, uh, AJ Harasili, former Wolves player, and Alfie and Sam Omprion, uh, who both used to play for Chelsea Academy and they're basically just giving their experiences, a few tips, so yeah, I hope you enjoy. 16, 17, he's never been in an academy. Uh, and I know a lot of kids think that once you're at that age, the dream's over, like you're, you're not going to get signed. What what would your advice be to people like that? Or well, look at like, look at players. Obviously, it's, like, it's hard. Like, you see Vardy, like, mm. players like that. You can be 20, you can be 15, you still always have a chance that even when you're playing a match and you think it's nothing, like, always give it your... Work your hardest, give it your all, because you never know who could be watching. And that one game could make you get into an academy like that. Obviously, you need to keep working hard, like do things that do extra, like do things that other people wouldn't be doing. So if you have a game on a Saturday, maybe go for like a run or like a little cool down on a Sunday or a gym session. Always do more than your opponent or people in your position. You say everyone was welcoming, but um, initially it must have been tough, you know, moving away from home at 16. What was that like um, initially? Um, at first, because obviously when I think sometimes you just want to get away from your like, family, like people think that, or like if they could move, they'll move, blah, blah, blah. But when I got there, I was missing home. Like, man, obviously it's not, it's not like I can go home every week because like, it's a good four hour, five hour trip. So mm -hmm. it's like you see other people going home on the weekends and you're like, oh, I wish I could live closer, blah, blah, blah. But um it's it's about like adapting that like, moving away from home was I think it's made me become more independent. But obviously it, it is it is hard. It is hard because you're you're not only leaving your family, leaving friends. Like yeah, like, it's, it's hard, but you you get used to it. I'm used to it now, obviously, because I've been here for like a year and a bit. So, but yeah, it was hard. And if they get released, you know, the that's that's all they know. And yeah, you know, but I don't really know personally. I, I I prefer the route that I'm taking and the route I've I've taken because, like, when you go into clubs nowadays, being at the age of 19, 20, and football's more complicated, you know where you stand as a player. It's either cool, you're going to play week in, week out and you know where you stand, or it's going to be, oh, no, you're not good enough, you, you, you got to move on. So, like, I think that's wrong, to be fair, because they're basically getting misled. They're playing, they're developing from 12 to 16 or 12 to 18 or however, however old, uh, you're old. And then they're getting released. So it's like, so like when they're coming out, they're thinking, shit, what am I going to do? Maybe I need to get... Uh, maybe I need to uh, take school more seriously or maybe I need to get a job. And that's not really what they want to do because they're getting misled. They're thinking 12 to 18, yeah, I'm going to be a professional footballer. I'm, I'm going to play first team games. And then bang, they get hit with, oh, you're not good enough. You can't play here no more. And then most kids that come out of academies, like a lot actually struggle to get teams regardless of who they've played for. Like look at my CV now, bro. Like, and I'm at Dulwich and Hamlet. I'm not saying it's a bad step, but People always say to me, oh, you should be pro or you should be playing there. You're too good to play at level. But mm -hmm. I'm still here. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, it's, it's, you're kind of misle misleading them to a certain extent, isn't it? But what, what can you say in it? But it's more like the aftercare, which, is, which, needs to, which needs to fix. Because you're somewhere for six years and then you never hear from them again. Like, it's... I don't know. I just think it's a bit odd, you know. And there's no help. There's like no support. So, so yeah. Uh, I'm going to test your memory a bit here. Obviously, being at a club like Chelsea is like every kid's dream, isn't it? Um, so, do you have any particular like experiences or memories that you look back on, sort of treasure? Um, yeah, I remember, like, yeah, just scoring two past Arsenal as an under tens. Like that was pretty bad. It was all, like, pretty bad, pretty bad. That was pretty mad. Um, it was always a massive game. Even like the like, it was all yeah. Even like at that age, like which is mad. But like the coaches were like you know properly, properly. You know, it's like you know the, 
you can't lose this game, you can't lose against mm-hmm. these lot. And I think that in itself is a bit intense to sort of be dealing with as a 10 year old when I think about it now. But when when I was younger, it was like, yeah, it was like, yeah, like, yeah, let's have it. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know, <laughs> um, <laughs> which is nuts. So I don't know, I guess that's all right. Yeah. Uh, what else? Um, at Chelsea. Yeah, I, rem- I, I remember sort of like just just getting like a lot of praise from like the coaches and stuff because I was like very skillful and sort of like just good at nutmegging people and sort of like I remember like I completely like skinned one of the coaches and like he was at I like, was because he was actually trying he was actually trying I remember the coaches just going mad and I just felt like I was like sort of only nine do you know what I mean it was like yeah man, I'm the you know I'm the man sort of thing that that you know. That 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 was that was a good feeling. The best player I've ever played yeah. with um, at Chelsea, yeah. probably Jeremy Jeremy Boga. Do you know Jeremy Boga? Yeah, um, I've heard of him. Yeah, he was. I mean, he was really good. He was like generally. Like, I remember he was like eleven or twelve, and he was like playing with the under 18s Really, he scored four against Liverpool. Yeah, he scored four against Liverpool, and that was just like yeah, that was just um, just insane. Came with the under eight and the under sevens. I think when I was five years old. So did you get scouted? Like did you get scouted for Chelsea from there? Um, not from Sunday League. I went to a place called Ch- Chelsea Development Center. So it was like a place where players are trying to get into academy. So scouts come to watch your games there, training sessions. Then before Chelsea came, Fulham took me on trial. So I went on trial at Fulham for about six weeks. They took long to sign me. Mm-hmm. So from there, Chelsea just took me. I got signed from there. Okay. And I know, uh, I know your mate AJ. He's an advocate for staying in sort of Sunday league and playing with your mates until a later age. Obviously, you got picked up by Chelsea at the age of eight. Looking back on it, do you do you think that was beneficial for you, or do you think do you wish that you maybe spend a few more years playing football purely for the enjoyment of it? Um, I. Don't regret it, but I do regret it at the same time because it felt like when I was at Chelsea, I felt like I was in this bubble. Do you know what I mean? I thought, oh, okay, I'm at Chelsea. Duh, 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 duh. Mm-hmm. So, like, it never made me like, I enjoyed it, obviously, but I reckon if I was like a, a Sunday League team, I would have been like training, like playing more harder, want to strive for more. But because I was already at Chelsea, I'm like, I was like, yeah, I was sponsored by Adidas at the time as well. So, like, at a young age, when they see all of this, you're thinking like, it gets a bit too much for you, do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I think I just got ahead of myself, really. I just got ahead of myself, and yeah. But yeah. then I don't at the same time, because it taught me a lesson, that it humbled me a bit, do you know what I mean? So, yeah. 